Desert Animals, Resilient Creatures The desert is a harsh environment with high temperatures, low rainfall, and a scarce food source. However, there are still many animals that have adapted to live in this environment. These animals are called desert animals, or xeracol. To survive in the desert, animals had to develop special adaptations. Some common characteristics include Drought tolerance, desert animals can save water effectively. They can reduce the amount of water lost through the skin and respiratory tract, or store water in the body. High temperature adaptability, desert animals can adjust their body temperature to adapt to the high temperature of the environment. They can cool the body by sweating, or avoiding activity at the hottest times of the day. Ability to find food and water in scarce places, desert animals can search for food and water in places where other animals cannot. They may eat plants that are drought tolerant, or look for groundwater. Here are some examples of desert animals. Camels are large animals with excellent drought tolerance. They can drink large amounts of water at a time, and can survive for days without drinking water. Fennec fox. Fennec fox is the smallest fox in the world with large ears that help them dissipate heat. They can survive in desert environments by eating small insects and animals. Lizards are common reptiles in the desert. They can burrow to avoid high temperatures or use thick skin to fight the sun. Desert fish. Desert fish can survive in saltwater environments and lack of oxygen. They can breathe by absorbing oxygen from the air through the skin. Desert animals play an important role in the desert ecosystem. They help maintain ecological balance and provide food for other animals. Overview Animals that want to survive in the desert have at least two possibilities. One is the ability to travel, because sandy soils can at any time bury them. The second is the ability to store water, he said, because when you lose water, any creature has to die. Desert animals face two main difficulties keeping their body temperature from overheating and keeping enough water, humidity. Desert animals each have their own method of survival, such as species that specialize in plant-dependent life. Some often hide themselves in the sand cave, when the rain do down, immediately crawl to the ground, use the whole body to catch the dew. The inhabitants of the desert had to adapt to the weather to survive. Many desert animals have large ears, legs, and long tails. These organs act like air conditioners, helping them protect themselves from the terrible heat. Many desert animals hide from the sun throughout the day and only appear in the early morning or when it is dark. Many other species appear and are active throughout the day, like a rake that turns its head toward the sun so that its body exposes as little sunlight as possible. And since in the desert rare water candles, the animals must use water for maximum efficiency. Many of them do not sweat, their urine is thick and feces dry. A desert rat, they adapt to walking in the desert, almost jumping rather than walking. There is no evidence that the body temperature of mammals and birds is adapted to different climates, either the temperature is too high or too cold. In fact, with a very few exceptions, their basal metabolic rate is determined by body size. It does not depend on the climate in which they live. Many desert animals and plants show particularly obvious evolutionary adaptations for water conservation or heat resistance and therefore often studied in comparative physiology, ecological physiology, and evolutionary physiology. A well-studied example is the kidney differentiation of mammals shown through species that inhabit deserts. Many examples of convergent evolution have been identified in desert organisms, including between cacti and euphorbia, kangaroos and gerboas, phrenosoma, and the Moloch lizard. Although the harsh environment is not suitable for humans, for some wildlife species, the Sahara, the largest tropical desert in the world, it is the ideal living place. It is home to wild animals such as antelopes, leopards, lions, scorpions, snakes, rodents, and many other rare species. Of the 14 animals that live in the desert, at least half of them are extinct in a separate area, or the number is significantly restricted within a smaller geographical range. Rodents, snakes, and scorpions thrive in desert environments. Among the extinct species discovered were the bubal-horned antelope, the horned wildebeest. Wild dogs and African lions have almost disappeared from the wild. 
The Nubian wild goat still lives in arid lands, but is classified as a vulnerable animal by external influences. The number of jaguars and leopards is also declining. The wildebeest is the most obvious evidence that the animals living in the Sahara Desert are disappearing due to over-the-counter hunting and lack habitat. To date, this antelope has only lived in captivity. Adapts. The desert presents a challenging environment for animals. Not only do these require water and food, but they also need to keep body temperature at an acceptable level. Water and carbon dioxide are the end products of metabolism and oxidation of fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. The oxidation of 1 gram of carbohydrates produces 0.60 grams of water, 1 gram of protein produces 0.41 grams of water, and 1 gram of fat produces 1.07 grams of water, make desert animals able to live without drinking water. Many other hot desert animals that live at night seek shade during the day or stay in underground caves. At depths of more than 50 centimeters, 20 in, these remain at levels between 30 and 32 degrees Celsius, 86 and 90 F, regardless of the external temperature. Mammals living in cold deserts have developed higher insulation through warmer body coat and subcutaneous fat insulation layers. Arctic mink has a two to three times greater metabolic rate than mammals of the same size. Birds have avoided the problem of heat loss through their feet by not trying to maintain the heat of their legs equal to the heat of the rest of their body, an adaptable form of insulation. 2. Emperor penguins have thick fur, a layer of insulation, cushion, of air next to the skin layer, and many, and the various heat mechanisms to maintain their body heat in one of the harshest environments on Earth. Species Beasts. The kangaroo is an example of the water use of this metabolic process and water conservation by controlling the basic low metabolic rate and bury yourself in the sand in the heat of the day. 11. Reducing dehydration through the fur and respiratory system as they rest. Of the 40 additional rodents discovered in the Sahara are the jump rat, mouse, and squirrel. To avoid the heat, the mice jump to dig holes beneath the desert sands to the wetter ground. Walking in the sand is not always easy. Most desert rodents jump rather than go. Jumping rats, desert rats, kangaroos, and other small rodents come out of their burrows at night and, therefore, make foxes, wolves, and so on, the jackals and snakes hunt them. Kangaroos keep cold by increasing their respiratory rate, panting, sweating, and moistening the skin of their front legs with their saliva. An African ground squirrel, Xerosonorus. The family of kangaroo rats, Heteromyidae, contains kangaroo rats, desert rock follicles. Most of the species live in complex caves in the desert and grasslands of western North America. Kangaroo rats are native to North America. They have two very developed hind legs, while the front legs are quite small and the head is much larger than the body. The length of the tail is greater than the length of the body and head combined. On both sides of their mouths they have cheek pockets, where they can be used to store food. The long-eared desert jumping mouse or long-eared jumping mouse, Eucharuts naso, is mostly nocturnal, almost all day long they are in underground burrows, and they dig their own burrows, the habitat is mainly in the desert, the river basin is full of white sand and includes trees with bushes, the Selavinia, Betpactolensis. Desert cotton-tailed rabbits, Silvilligus audubonii are found throughout the western United States from eastern Montana western Texas, and in northern and central Mexico. To the west extend its range, to central Nevada and southern California and Baja California. It is found at altitudes up to 2,000 meters. It is particularly associated with dry pastures near the deserts of western South America. One of the most endearing inhabitants of the desert is the hedgehog Paracanus ethiopicus, which is found in Africa and the Middle East. This animal adapted to life in the arid desert by living in burrows during the day and hunting at night. It eats everything from insects and invertebrates to bird eggs and snakes and scorpions. Large herbivorous animals are not capable of hiding in the cave so they face many serious problems. They can usually only live on the edge of the desert where they arrange for shade and water. Adax and the gazelles can live without drinking water. The only moisture that provides them is from the source of dew and water that they can find in plants. Grass-eating mammals take moisture from the plants they eat. Species such as the Adax antelope, 14, the Dictic gazelle, R, 
grant gazelles and oryx gazelles, the fringeared gazelles, use this method very effectively so they do not need to drink water. Many other hot desert animals that live at night seek shade during the day or stay in underground caves. At depths of more than 50 centimeters, 20 in, these remain at levels between 30 and 32 degrees Celsius, 86 and 90 F, regardless of the external temperature. Mammals living in cold deserts have developed higher insulation through warmer body coat and subcutaneous fat insulation layers. Arctic mink has a two to three times greater metabolic rate than mammals of the same size. Birds have avoided the problem of heat loss through their feet by not trying to maintain the heat of their legs equal to the heat of the rest of their body, an adaptable form of insulation. Emperor penguins have thick fur, a layer of insulation, cushion, of air next to the skin layer and many, and the various heat mechanisms to maintain their body heat in one of the harshest environments on earth. Species Beasts. The kangaroo is an example of the water use of this metabolic process and water conservation by controlling the basic low metabolic rate and bury yourself in the sand in the heat of the day, reducing dehydration through the fur and respiratory system as they rest. Of the 40 additional rodents discovered in the Sahara are the jump rat, mouse, and squirrel. To avoid the heat, the mice jump to dig holes beneath the desert sands to the wetter ground. Walking in the sand is not always easy. Most desert rodents jump rather than go. Jumping rats, desert rats, kangaroos, and other small rodents come out of their burrows at night and, therefore, make foxes, wolves, and so on, the jackals and snakes hunt them. Kangaroos keep cold by increasing their respiratory rate, panting, sweating, and moistening the skin of their front legs with their saliva. An African ground squirrel, Xerosonorus. The family of kangaroo rats, Heteromyidae contains kangaroo rats, desert rock follicles. Most of the species live in complex caves in the desert and grasslands of western North America. Kangaroo rats are native to North America. They have two very developed hind legs, while the front legs are quite small and the head is much larger than the body. The length of the tail is greater than the length of the body and head combined. On both sides of their mouths they have cheek pockets where they can be used to store food. The long-eared desert jumping mouse or long-eared jumping mouse, Eucharitz naso, is mostly nocturnal, almost all day long they are in underground burrows, and they dig their own burrows, the habitat is mainly in the desert, the river basin is full of white sand and includes trees with bushes, the Selavinia, Betpactolensis. Desert cotton-tailed rabbits, Silviligus audubonii, are found throughout the western United States from eastern Montana western Texas, and in northern and central Mexico. To the west extend its range, to central Nevada and southern California and Baja California. It is found at altitudes up to 2,000 meters. It is particularly associated with dry pastures near the deserts of western South America. One of the most endearing inhabitants of the desert is the hedgehog Paracanus ethiopicus, which is found in Africa and the Middle East. This animal adapted to life in the arid desert by living in burrows during the day and hunting at night. It eats everything from insects and invertebrates, to bird eggs and snakes and scorpions. Large herbivorous animals are not capable of hiding in the cave so they face many serious problems. They can usually only live on the edge of the desert, where they arrange for shade and water. Adax and the gazelles can live without drinking water. The only moisture that provides them is from the source of dew and water that they can find in plants. Grass-eating mammals take moisture from the plants they eat. Species such as the Adax antelope, 14, the Dictic gazelle, R, Grant gazelles and Oryx gazelles, the fringeared gazelles, use this method very effectively so they do not need to drink water. Adax nasomaculatus, or the twisted horned antelope, is the largest native mammal in the Sahara. The animal migrated into small herds throughout western Sahara, Mauritania, and Chad. Instead of drinking water, it filters moisture from grass and desert bushes. The oversized hooves make it possible for this animal to deftly move over the liquid sand of the desert. Sonoran This species has adapted to live in particularly difficult environments. It can eat and digest grass dishes that other herbivores do not count on, these include dry desert grasses and even cacti. Its coat can resist cold temperatures at night, as well as hot temperatures during hot days. 
This large Arabian oryx is capable of living in harsh hot desert conditions. They have white plumage to reflect sunlight during the day, dark legs that help absorb the cold heat in the morning in the desert. This species usually eats at dawn and in the evening, resting at shady bushes avoiding the midday heat. This species can move for days, even weeks without a single drop of water. They accumulate water for the body by drinking dew on trees and food. Camels are a great example of a mammal adapted to desert life. It minimizes its dehydration by producing concentrated urine and dry stool, and can take up to 40% its body weight through dehydration without dying from dehydration. Camels, often symbolized by the Sahara, appeared in the desert around 200 AD. Compared to the horses they replace, the advantage of camels is their soft legs so that they can move quickly, easy crossing of sand and the ability to survive for 17 days without food and water. Desert elephants are elephants that live in desert regions, they are not a separate species of African elephant, but African bush elephants, Loxodonta africana, have chosen for themselves the habitat in the arid desert and this has led to them having several characteristics distinct ability to adapt to the living environment. Desert elephants have been developed towards certain adaptations for desert life and their body structure tends to have relative feet wider, longer legs and smaller bodies than other African bush elephants. Carnivores can absorb water from their prey, Secura fox or Peruvian desert fox, like Calapex securi, found in the desert Secura is in southwestern Ecuador and northwestern Peru. Pale fur foxes usually live in rocky deserts and semi-deserts, although occasionally go south into the steppes. During the day they rest in the cave which can be up to 15 meters long and down to 2 meters to the ground, dusk down them out for food including plants and berries as well as rodents, reptiles, and insects. It has the ability to retain water from its food and has almost complete abstinence from drinking. Desert ear fox, a familiar resident in the desert, they feature large ears to dissipate heat. The fennec fox, Vulpes cerda, is a small nocturnal desert fox found in the Sahara Desert of North Africa. The most distinctive feature is its unusually large ears, which serve to dissipate heat. The fennec fox is the smallest of the dog family, its coat, ears, and kidney function have adapted to high temperatures, little water, and desert environments. In addition, its hearing is quite sharp and can hear prey moving underground. It mainly eats insects, small mammals, and birds. The large ears also help them detect the slightest noise in the calm atmosphere of the desert. The hearing of the sand fox is particularly sensitive. Weighing less than 1.4 kilograms, the desert fox lives in pits of sand dunes during the day and hunts at night. The sand cat or sand dune cat is a species that lives in the desert regions of Africa and Asia. It is quite small in size and looks rafty with short legs, long tails, and very large, pointed ears. Their heads are quite large, their ears are so large that they can be spread horizontally and even pointed downward for hunting. Sand cats have thick hairs growing in between their toes, which creates a thick layer of insulating fur that keeps them from burning while walking in the desert sand. The African mink has become a symbol of the Kalahari Desert. This species has a number of body features that help them adapt to desert life. This species can accumulate water for the body from prey such as insects, snakes, and scorpions. This species is immune to scorpion venom and can tolerate six times the amount of snake venom that can kill a rabbit. This species can eat root and root dishes if additional water is needed. Black patches around the eyes of this species help them reduce the glare of sunlight. Forest dogs and various hyenas are among the carnivores that live on the Sahara. The Arabian wolf is a subspecies of the adapted gray wolf that lives in very impressive desert, harsh conditions. This species has a long coat that protects the body against cold temperatures during the dynamic season. By some of the species has a short, furry coat, but there are still long hairs growing backwards on their backs that help them resist the heat of the sun. They also have large ears to help disperse body temperature. To escape the heat, it will dig deep burrows and rest in the shade. The lion in the Kalahari Desert is a subspecies of African lion that is particularly adapted to desert habitats. This species has long legs and a tidy body, and strong resistance to thirst, they can fast for two weeks without drinking water, rely solely on prey to provide water to the body. They cool down by panting, 
and release sweat through pads in the feet. Bird. The Cursorius Cursor is a well-camouflaged desert residence whose body is dusty in color and whose head is bobbed. There are few nesting birds in the desert, but the sand chicken is an exception. They fly very far to find water and bring in small amounts by seeping into the belly hair. The sand grouse is an expert in camouflage and nesting in the open in the desert, tens of kilometers from the puddles they drink daily. Some small birds that live during the day are found in very limited locations where their plumage resembles the color of the underlying surface. The desert cane bathes in sand regularly to ensure that it resembles its environment. In many different ways, birds are most likely to do this in higher order animals. They can travel to areas where there is a lot of food available when the desert blooms after local rains and can fly to remote water basins remotest. In the hot desert, gliders can remove the high heat from the overheated desert by using the heat to soar into the cold air at high altitudes. To conserve energy, other desert birds run instead of fly. There are birds that run on the ground on their long legs, stopping periodically to catch insects. Like other desert birds, it is good camouflage because it can hide in the surrounding landscape when standing still. The tiny Costa hummingbird can be found in the Sonoran and Mojave deserts, which can adapt well in desert environments. They can escape the heat of hot summer days by flying to the bushes. When night temperatures plummet, they enter a state of drowsiness, slow your normal heart rate from 500 to 900 beats per minute to 50 beats per minute to conserve energy. Reptiles As cold-blooded animals, reptiles cannot live in cold deserts, but are well suited to hot deserts. In the daytime heat of the Sahara Desert, the temperature can rise to 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Reptiles cannot survive at this temperature and lizards will collapse due to heat at 45 degrees Celsius 113 degrees Fahrenheit. They are less adapted to desert life and cannot cool themselves by sweating so they need to hide from the sun during the day. In the early part of the night, when the ground radiates absorbing heat during the day, they appear and prepare to hunt. Lizards are wonderfully adapted animals in desert environments, this is a thorny demon lizard. Lizards and snakes are the most numerous in certain arid and solid areas that have developed a new method of movement that allows them to move to the sides and navigate the high sand dunes. These species are included in the African horned snake genus and North American Crotalus cerastes, which evolved separately but have convergent evolutionary-like behaviors. Many desert reptiles are ambush predators and often bury themselves in the sand, waiting for prey to arrive within range of attack. The horny snakes of the Sahara Desert move by wavy crawling and sandfish, or desert lizards, are almost swimming. The javelin has a kind of movement like no other to prevent being buried by grains of sand at any time, it bends its body to the left, it takes all the time to increase the contact area with the sandy soil, and form a habit of tilting movement. The lizard can be considered an intense living typical, its forelimbs open up into large membranes, supporting the body to walk comfortably in the sand. When night falls, the fog covers, and the lizard's body and eyes use their maximum ability to gather the dewdrops. In addition, its long tongue can lick the dew in front of its eyes very flexible and skillful, like a wiper on a car. In terms of water storage, the tail lizard has the characteristics to collect maximum droplets of water. Every time the dew went down, he crawled up to the top of the dune, his back to the mist from the sea, his tail up high, his tail high, make its body tilt to the side, when the fog meets the cold body of the animal, it will condense into droplets, running with the back sliding into the mouth of the lizard. Batricoseps robustus salamander in the Mojave Desert The Batricoseps campi salamander, in English, Inyo Mountain salamander, is a species of salamander. The salamander's natural habitat ranges from the temperate Mojave Desert to the Artemisia Trident at a Great Basin shrub ecological transition zone, and freshwater streamside areas there, at an altitude of 490 to 2,950 meters, 1,610 to 9,680 feet, Batricoseps campi feeds on small insects. Desert Camel, Dipsosaurus dorsalis, is a species of lizard in the family, Camel, Iguanidae. Sand dragons with leather like this soldier's coat are called army sand dragons. It sits on red sand in Australia's Alice Springs Desert Park. Despite its harsh environment, 
deserts form diverse ecosystems with plants and animals that are able to adapt to drought conditions. Amidst Amphibians do not seem to be desert inhabitants, as they need to keep the skin moist and dependent on water for breeding purposes. In fact, a small number of species found in this habitat have made some remarkable adaptations. Most of them are fossorial, spending the dry months of hot summer sleep in deep caves. Meanwhile, they peel their skin several times and retain those skin around them to make a waterproof layer like a cocoon to keep moisture. In the Sonoran Desert, toads spend most of the year sleeping in their burrows. Heavy rain is the cause of the appearance and the male first finds a suitable pond that calls for attracting other animals. Eggs are laid and tadpoles grow rapidly as they must reach complete metamorphosis before the water evaporates. As the desert dried up, the adult toad buried himself. The offspring stayed on the surface for a while, eating and growing, but soon they dug down. A few of them can reach adulthood. The desert toad of Namibia is nocturnal and exists thanks to the humidity of the sea salt mist from the Atlantic Ocean. African woes can adapt to life in deserts and even highlands. They have a way of beating the extreme temperatures of the desert by burrowing deep into the ground and lying motionless, a hibernation-like state. They peel off the skin to form a cocoon that keeps the body hydrated and absorbs the water held in the bladder. It can lie dormant for more than a year and can survive, despite losing up to 38% of its body weight. When it rains, the African woes will return to the surface of the land to feed and breed. Else. Triops australiensis survives the arid stage in the form of eggs, which grow rapidly after the rain. Invertebrates, especially arthropod arthropods, have been successful in living in the desert. Flies, beetles, ants, termites, locust, millipede, scorpion and spider, 22, have hard epidermis layers, it is not low in water and many of them lay their eggs underground and the offspring grow far from the extreme temperatures on the ground. Cataglyphus bombacina uses protein to fight heat squirrels in a new way and feeds outside for a very short period of the day. The Stenocra dentata in Namibia stands on its front legs and lifts its shell to catch morning fog in condensed form, then transfers water into its mouth. Some arthropods use temporary ponds that form after rain and complete their life cycle in a matter of days. Desert prawns do this, appearing exotically in the newly formed puddle as sleeping eggs hatch. Others, such as the brine shrimp, Anostraca and Notostraca, are metabolically discontinued and can lose up to 92% of their body mass, it is possible to restore water as soon as it rains and their temporary lake reappears. The Sahara Desert is home to the death scorpion, which can reach almost 4 inches in length. Their venom contains large amounts of agitoxin and psilotoxin. Thank you for watching the video, remember to like and follow to receive other new videos.